All right, today I'm going to show you the new diagramming tool that's going to be part of the Pest Routes uh, platform. This is within our Tech Routes application for your field service technicians. So, this is a view that shows me all of my appointments for today. Uh, you know, my appointment with Gimme Pizza was delicious and J Cool was as cool as ever. Uh, but now I'm going to go into my Mr. Diagrammer appointment. So, when I get into my appointment, I get to see the property. Uh, or a picture of the uh, property, as well as all the information like the contact info and the notes and all that stuff. And now when I go to the Docs tab, uh, this is where I have the ability to add uh, not only images and documents and signed forms, but now also diagrams. Uh, this functionality is actually uh, in beta right now, but it's getting released the first part of April 2017, so it should be available within the next week or so. And if you want to be on the beta, you can jump on. But uh, when I click this diagram button up at the top, let me go into this. Uh, this will load our new diagramming tool. You can see that it's integrated in with Google Maps. And so you can actually use uh, the satellite imagery to not only draw property lines, but also to demo in front of customers and also to pitch in front of customers. And it adds a lot of visual uh, pizzazz to your uh, pitches. So uh, this diagramming tool, we actually, uh, you know, we actually kind of hacked the mapping, uh, you know, imagery. So you can actually have unlimited zoom. Obviously, the further and further in you get, the more blurry it gets. But normally, you can only zoom to about here. Uh, we enabled it so you can actually zoom in as far as you want. So this makes it really easy to use the satellite imagery for sketching out the diagram. You'll notice up at the top of the screen, I got a save button. Uh, next to that, I've got a screenshot button, which I'll show you in a second. I've got a uh, view button, which I can use to actually toggle um, different views. So I can actually have a blank canvas, a grid only, uh, satellite imagery, or grid on top of satellite. So there's a bunch of different views that you can actually utilize. And I've also got a locate me button next to that. So that's how you can jump straight to the you know the current place that you are, just in case the uh, customer's address in our system isn't quite right. And then at the bottom, I've got the ability to add different types of structures to the diagram. So I've got a, at the very bottom, I've got a button to add a structure, to add a line, which you could use for like fence lines, or to add a flag, uh, which you can customize on the back end. And I've got some commonly used flags down here at the bottom as well. Okay, so let me start by adding a structure. I'm gonna press, press the add structure button in the bottom left. And from here, I can come in and very easily uh, indicate where the boundaries of the structure are. And uh, I'm using a stylus, so I can get really specific with uh, where these points are located. So depending on how much of a perfectionist you are, uh, you can get as uh, accurate as you'd like to be. I can also, in the bottom right, toggle the lengths. So I can actually see the lengths of the property uh, as I'm dragging and dropping these. And that's very helpful to get it just right. Uh, so I can toggle those on and off, and then I can also even adjust them. So if I want to, I can come in and say, I know that this wall is 100 feet long, and that'll automatically uh, uh, resize the line to be exactly how big it's supposed to be. So that way you can very easily come in here and get uh, you know, perfect with this information. So I'm going to come in and just mark this uh, you know, so it's equal uh, on all of the lines here. Okay. So, uh, I've built my diagram here, uh, and I'm going to click Done. And once I click Done, uh, this diagram is now uh, placed on the tool. And from here, I can adjust not only the border width, so that I can adjust you know, what it looks like, so I can get the look just right. I can also adjust the color, so I can change what color this diagram is, uh, you know, depending on what look I want to give the customer. In addition, I can also adjust those lengths uh, or you know, toggle those lengths on and off like I showed you before. And then if I wanted to, I could come back and re-edit these. So if I wanted to go and adjust these, I could do that as well. Okay, so that's, that's drawing the basic diagram. Uh, once I've drawn the structure uh, on the uh, diagram tool, now I want to go in and add markers. You can add as many markers as you'd like. So down here at the bottom, we have some commonly used ones. These are conducive conditions. Uh, in addition, there's also you can also use this to add things like Centricon uh, installations, or uh, you know pest activity, or even where you've placed placed rat boxes or bait boxes. 
So all you have to do is actually just drag and drop one of these markers up onto the diagram, and I can place this wherever I find activity. This one's high mulch. Uh, I'm able to uh, specify a code as well as a description and then also notes. And those are editable, so if I need to, I can leave messages or uh, you know adjust the text while I'm out in the field. Um, in addition, you can pre-fill that too, so it's you know there automatically. Uh, these are all set up on the back end inside of Pest Route, so you can set up as many of these as you like. These ones on the bottom are the commonly used ones, so you can uh, specify which ones are going to be commonly used. So they're easily accessible. And then if you press the Add Flag button, uh, if you press this one, you can actually have as many as you'd like. And uh, if you live in California, for example, where you have 50 bajillion codes, uh, you can actually easily search and uh, filter these. So it's easy to find the perfect code. And once you select it, it gets dropped on the diagram, and you can drag and drop it to wherever you want, and it makes it really easy to just uh, you know, put that on there. So you can see that it only really took me a minute or so to build this diagram. Uh, it's very quick, quick and simple and easy to use. And from here, uh, once I've built my diagram and I've placed my conducive conditions or my findings down, from here I have a couple of options. So uh, going back up to the very top of the tool, uh, up in the top left I've got a save button. And uh, I could save this diagram and what would happen is it would attach it to the customer's account and I could actually go back into it whenever I wanted and I could adjust it or I could reuse it or I could uh, tweak it however I'd like uh, to in, in order to continue to use it. And then next to that button, I've got this screenshot button. So when I press this, what it's going to do, it's actually going to take a screenshot of the diagram. And actually, before I do that, I'm actually going to change the view. I like doing uh, screenshots just on a white background um, because it's a little bit cleaner when you embed it in reports. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to name this my, uh, I'll call this my termite inspection from... Uh, March 31st, 2017. Okay, so I'm going to take a screenshot of that. Uh, and now when I save this diagram and I go back to my, uh, my appointment information, I've got both of these uh, uh, items in my Docs tab. So the first one is the diagram that I just created, which again I can go back into and edit and adjust if I'd like to. And I've also got this screenshot, uh, which is a point in time version of that diagram. Uh, it's a, you know, a saved version of that. And this is what I can use to embed inside of reports. So let me show you an, ex an example of how you might use that. Uh, I'm going to click Add Document up in the top right. And I'm going to add my California Termite Inspection, which should look familiar to a bunch of you. Uh, but here I can come and mark and fill out this uh, inspection report. And uh, I can actually uh, embed the screenshot that I took uh, right onto the diagram, or sorry, right onto the document. Uh, from there, I'm going to collect my signatures, and then I can actually embed uh, my diagram legend that's got all of my findings listed out. You can have uh, different layers, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. So you, in California, for example, you could have section one and section two findings. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to sign off on this document and I'm going to click uh, sign document. This is automatically going to email the customer a copy, upload a copy to pest routes, and then also give you a version that you can view right on tech routes. So it's that easy to create a uh, California termite inspection document. Uh, it takes just a few minutes. That's the basic functionality of the diagramming tool. Uh, let me jump in and show you a couple of the other things that are very cool about this tool. So if I go back into the original diagram that I created, it's got all the work that I did before saved. Uh, one of the things that's really powerful about this tool is that you can use what we call layers. So an example of this would be uh, in California where you need section one and section two findings. In this situation, I'm gonna click my layer tool up at the top right here, and I'm gonna add a new layer, and I'm gonna call this section one, okay? Now once I create that layer, I can actually choose which layer each of these findings are in. So if I come in here and I set these layers, or sorry, set these uh, markers to be all section one, and then uh, I'm going to come in and add one more layer. I'm going to call it section two. 
So I've got my section one findings, and now I'm going to add my section two findings. Uh, so now what you can do is you can actually toggle on and off these different layers. So if I want to see just my section one findings or just my section two findings, I can really easily do that. So that way you can dif uh, differentiate your findings between section one or section two. And then when you build your reports, you can actually embed them separately. So you can have a section for section one findings and a section for section two findings. Another way that this is incredibly powerful is uh, when you go back and do reinspections, your annual termite inspections for warranty customers, you can actually create a different layer for each year that you go back. And what's cool about that is you can actually have saved point in time uh, you know, history of what was uh, found on the property. So you can actually see what your inspection on you know, March of 2017 was versus what it was in 2018 versus what it was in 2019. And that way you can tell very quickly or, and also show very quickly what conditions and what uh, activity was found at each inspection and what things were fixed and what things weren't fixed, uh, you know, uh, as well. So that is the uh, diagramming tool in a nutshell. Uh, again, I think this is going to be a very powerful tool for you to use not only for termite inspections, but also for uh, you know, uh, selling pest control, for uh, presenting to customers, for doing Centricon installations, um, or even doing bait boxes and the like. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, talk to you soon.